In this video, we're gonna be using Murphy and McNeil Banzai and the Above the Tie Windsor H1. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you. And today we have a nice, brightly scented soap from Murphy and McNeil. This is Banzai, and boy, this one brings it. It is a beautiful, invigorating citrus scent, which you know is my jam. I love this. Oh, it's just such a wonderful, wonderful scent. It is mandarin orange and musk. Now, when I say musk, keep in mind for me, musk is one of the three pillars of funk, being oud, musk, and patchouli. All of those can go very nicely in a scent or they can come off as a body odor. There are many different types of musk though, so keep that in mind. Anyway, this one is just absolutely beautiful. What you get primarily is the mandarin orange. It's bright, it's invigorating scent strength. Um, probably at the mid-level of medium. Very, very nice scent. I absolutely love it. I'm really happy <laughs> I purchased this one. Uh, the consistency of the soap is soft, but not too soft. It's sort of a medium firm, I would call it. And this comes to you, if I can get the top one, from Murphy McNeil for $19.99 for four ounces or $4.99 an ounce. But, but, I must caveat, Murphy and McNeil in the United States has free shipping, no minimum. And they also have very uh, attractive international shipping rates, I mean, relative some, to some other places. So great value at Murphy and McNeil. And this would be probably in the good range if you took off shipping. So keep that in mind, free shipping at Murphy and McNeil. Great customer service, great soap. The base itself is a tallow base. We'll put the ingredients for you right there. This is the Aeon base. It also can, uh, contains that cooling agent, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it doesn't bother me. For me, it just creates sort of a tingly thing, not a cold thing, but we'll see how it goes today because I got it lathered up and I really look forward to using it. The razor for today is the Above the Tie Windsor H1 with a feather blade. Now, one of the things I always mention when I use Above the Tie is you can use discount code, and I'll put it right there for you, IMCDB at Above the Tie for 10% off. If you're going to buy something at Above the Tie, use that discount code you'll get 10% off and you also help the channel. So thank you. But as always, I never ask you to buy anything. But if you are, save yourself some money. This is an all stainless steel razor made here in the US. It's pretty efficient on the uh, H plate. It runs $172, which is uh, not a bad price for a premium razor. And it has a 0.91 blade gap. Now, one of the things I wanna uh, mention to people is Above the Tide does have afterpay, which means you can break the cost down into four equal payments. So you can buy it, they'll send you the razor, and then you make four interest-free equal payments, which is pretty cool for people who are maybe uh, on a budget. So if you're interested in one of the Above the Tide offerings, you know, check that out. Okay, this is made in the U.S., by the way. Let's get into the shave because I'm really looking forward to using the Bonsai today. 24 hours of growth, which you see there, I hope. And all the products will be linked Below, in, including the Windsor razor, which is a really nice razor, we have our Captain's Choice bowl here. And as you can see, there is some nice hydrated lather in it. The ease of use was off the chart. It was just super easy to use. And we're using today our gorgeous, or at least I think it's gorgeous, that darn Rob olive wood with a Sinbad knot from AB Shape Co. And J.R. Uh, Reyes knotted uh, this for me, by the way. I haven't mentioned him for a while, so thank you, J.R., for doing that and let's get into it if you like citrus this is really nice and by the way look at that lather Murphy you know doesn't get mentioned you see that hanging off there well hydrated um people talk about bases all the time and as you know I'm not a base guy I just want a soap that um provides excellent um slickness that works really well and has high ease of use ease of use on Murphy Neil is high, meaning it's very easy to work with. And as you can see there, nice hydrated lather, no problems whatsoever with it. It's not mentioned uh, among the top bases a lot, unless you're talking about their Kodiak base, which is bear tallow. And for me, I think that is mostly because people just, when they see some exotic something or other, they just automatically assume it's better than everything else. I think this Aeon base is just fine. I believe it does contain duck fat uh, and it's nice. I hope you can see that sheen on it. That is a nice lather. That runs with anything. Uh, although it doesn't get mentioned as often as some of the others. And honestly, I would take this Murphy and McNeil Aeon base over many others in terms of just ease of use and general effectiveness. For me, 
keeping, keeping in mind, I rule out the post shave. I don't care anything about it when it comes to soaps. Um, because you know, I'm using post shave products. Um, ease of use, very nice value. Very good. Excellent soap. I would say do not ignore Murphy uh, and McGee. Really good stuff. And they also have that used marketplace, which is cool. So check them out if you please. And this is a good quality soap. And it's one that I don't think gets the attention it deserves. Okay, here we go with our above the tie H1 with feather blade. And that feels very nice and very smooth. Third use on this feather blade, which will be my last. I only use the blades for um, three shades, generally. And then out, and that's very nice and very smooth. So no problem whatsoever with that. And the Murphy and McNeil soap here just smells fantastic. It's just, for me, these bright scents like that, it just makes me happy. It just, you know, it gets my day going. Much more so than the darker scents. The darker scents that come out in the fall, it's just like, I don't know, they're not, they're not uplifting to me. Now, there are people who really enjoy those, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, DK calls us, those of us who really love citrus, the fresh boys. And, and I will own that. I love it. I mean, I, there's just something nice about clean, fresh, invigorating versus, you know, dank, dark, mildewy, musty, some of the soaps actually have uh, mildew. I've seen it before in the notes. Who wants to smell like that? Not me. <laughs> I want to smell clean and fresh. I don't want body odor. I don't want death, decay, you know, none of that. That's just not my jam. Um, but this one is. And the razor, very, very nice. And the soap, very nice. Working together very, very well. So I was really looking forward to using this one because I bought the uh, Bonsai and Glen to Glen. Both are winners and keepers for me. And I've accumulated quite a few Murphy and Neil soaps now. So it's probably about time I do a top 10 Murphy or my favorite 10 Murphy and Neil soaps because I do have at least 10. Now, I, I'm gonna tell you right now, our Barbershop de los Muertos is probably gonna be at the top of that list. That is an amazing scent. If you're going to try, um, I'm going to try Murphy and McNeil. It's one I would definitely recommend. Um, it is fantastic. Um, really great scent. That one came out, I want to think right around, somewhere around the new year. It is good. And I tell you what, the, the old above the tie razors, they've been around a long time, 10 years in the premium space. They were one of the first premium razor makers um, that I can recall. And uh, these razors are still good. Now, they also have a Windsor Pro line, which is made in China. This is the Windsor line, the regular Windsor line. So if that's important to you and you're interested in above the tie razor, just make sure you're using the Windsor line or they disclose where everything is made. So no problem with that. Good folks at above the tie. We did an interview with them uh, on Real Talk a couple months ago, and I will uh, pop that up there for you if you are interested. All right, let's get on with pass two. And again, look at that. Creamy lather. That is good stuff. That is good, good stuff. And again, I, I really do, I believe, Murphy and McNeil is worthy of more praise, just like straight gold shave, um, just like it used to be for Shannon's. Shannon's has gotten a, a bigger following now, finally. People have seen the light, but uh, Murphy and McNeil is just as good as most soaps on the market better than some soaps on the market. It runs with anything in my opinion. And honestly, um, I can get in here and just make a lather, a great lather that works well for my use case. Now keep in mind, use case is crit critically important. It's something we don't talk about. So some people, you know, want different things on their soap. Some people are really, really interested in the post shave properties of a soap, right? For me, you have to consider, and this is very critical to understand, I'm going to do a warm water rinse. I'm going to apply alum, which is an astringent. I'm going to do another cold water rinse thoroughly. I'm going to apply witch hazel with aloe and so on and so forth, and also has astringent properties. And then I'm going to apply uh, an alcohol, normally an alcohol-based aftershave that also has astringent properties. So please keep that in mind that for me, 
the poche properties of this soap are, are not likely to shine through by the time I've gone through that. And so that's why I don't evaluate poche because my skin feels the same every single day after the shave, regardless of the soap I use, because I have a very specific post shave routine that works well for me. It may not for you, so keep that in mind. I need to pick up the pace a little bit because it's been 10 minutes already and I'm just yapping and yapping. I'm yapping till the cows come home here. But anyway, keep in mind your use case is critically important, but I, I would rather not evaluate things like post shave when I don't really have any means of evaluating it. And also, it is such a very subjective thing that I can't demonstrate nor prove nor, you know, validate in any way. You just have to be taking my word for it. And I would rather talk more about things that are somewhat objective, at least. For example, I can tell you what the soap cost. I can tell you what the ingredients are. I can show you what the lather looks like and you can, uh, you can sort of take that into consideration. Those are somewhat objective. Um, the scent notes I can give to you, you know, objectively. Um, the post shave, it's, it's completely in the realm of subjectivity, completely. You can't see it, there's no way to demonstrate it. And plus, I'm addressing my post with post shave products, which I think, this is just my opinion, people will disagree, that's okay. I have found in my life in almost every situation, not all, but most, that products designed for purpose typically work better than all in one. So I'm gonna use, my wife has a bunch of uh, hair care products in the shower there, for example. So you can buy a, a body wash, for example, that has body wash, uh, shampoo, conditioner, slash, slash, slash. And that product, while it will, you can use it for all of those things and it's marketed to do all those things. I'm gonna rinse this handle off a little bit here. It's marketed to do all those things. Um, you'll find that most people that are seriously interested in their hair care have a specific conditioning product to condition their hair. Why? Because they tend to work more effectively. They're designed specifically for that purpose to give the hair, depending on your use case, exactly what it needs. So you find the right conditioner and it gives you exactly what you need for your hair. And that could differ from person to person on what you need. You might have oily hair, you might have hair that's dry, you might need, you know. So my personal feeling is you're going to get more mileage out of that product designed specifically for care, such as the case with a conditioner versus an all-in-one body um, soap slash shampoo slash conditioner. Or even just, we can, we can just say a shampoo with conditioner. Generally speaking, I think you're gonna get a better result by using that conditioner for conditioning versus trying to use a, just a shampoo by itself for conditioning. Now, that's just my thoughts. We can disagree on that. That's okay, that has been my experience that addressing specific needs with a specific product often um, produces a better result than an all-in-one type product. And so the way I look at these shaving soaps, the primary goal or the primary use for a shaving soap here for my use case is to provide, and really it's called shaving soap for shaving, the act of shaving. The skin conditioning part of it is a relatively new uh, thing. I mean, it's been around, but artisans hanging their hat on that is a relatively new thing. And so to me, the shaving soap and then saying, oh, it's gonna do the best things in the world for your skin. Um, it's kind of like an all-in-one shampoo. It may, it may have some benefit, but my personal belief is that you should find whatever your skin needs, whether it be you need more cleansing, you need more astringent type stuff, or you need more moisturizing. Whatever you find you need, I think that if you address that with those specific products that are specifically designed for that, I think you get a better result. That's my thought. And so we'll stop there because I'm going to save this subject for a sofa session or something where we break it down a little further and unpack it. Now, there are many who disagree, but I would rather give you information on my channel that I can somewhat objectively 
show you, validate, or point to rather than invisible stuff that no one can see, no one can prove. And you're just simply taking the word of the artisan and taking the word of, of, of the YouTuber or um, Instagrammer or what have you. That's just me. That doesn't mean I'm being critical of the people who hang their hat on post shave because that is fine. If it, I'm not here to deny the experience you are having, right? So if, if the uh, shaving soaps are making your skin feel the greatest ever and you don't need post shave products, go with it. Do whatever works best for you. But in my case, I just find that my skin work responds very favorably to my routine. And uh, my routine mostly strips whatever might have been left behind by the soap off. I want to get the soap off my face. And so I'm using products that's going to remove most of the properties of the soap that other people are hanging their hat on. But that's me. That's what works well for me. And I suggest you do the same. Find what works. And it doesn't have to be what's popular or what the consensus is. Just do what feels right, what works best, and what leaves your skin in the best condition. Some people want their skin to feel quite moist. I don't. I want my skin to have... Um, uh, I want it to be um, moisturized, but I don't want it to feel tacky or oily or... And so what I do is just address it directly in the way that works best for me. And so, again, I recommend you do. I, I said I was going to stop talking about that, then I just kept flapping. How could I? But anyway, the razor and soap today. Excellent. Let me uh, rinse and we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back in off cam. We did a thorough warm water rinse to remove the soap prior to applying our alum. No stinging there, so that was nice. Then we did a very thorough cold water rinse. Uh, then we applied our Thayer's Cucumber Watermelon Magic because it's made by witches. This was an excellent shave today. I really love the bonsai. If you like bright citrus scents, mandarin orange and musk, don't be afraid of the musk because this one is just beautiful. Big thumbs up. Great base, great ease of use, great overall value. Murphy and McNeil, great stuff. Also, we enjoyed the Above the Tie Windsor um, H1 today. Excellent razor. And again, if you're going to buy an Above the Tie razor, Use discount code IMCDB and you'll get 10% off and you help the channel. So thank you if you do, but as always, not asking you to, but if you're going to, save yourself some money on that. Um, the brush for today was the That Darn Rob Now Chisel and Hound, which I really love. AP Shave Co. Sinbad Knot, our Captain's Choice Bowl. And we shall finish it off with an aftershave that Murphy and McNeil sent with my order. I didn't purchase this. This is the Bonsai Splash, so we look forward to using this. Thank you, Bill. At Murphy and McNeil. He sent this over for me to try, and boy, I am looking forward to it because I love the soap. Oh, man. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, man, that's just so nice. This feels good on my skin, too. Oh, that just feels excellent. My skin feels very satiny after that shave, and just, it works for me, folks, so you do what works well for you. I shall do what works well for me, and today this shave was excellent. And I hope wherever you are, you're having excellent shaves as well. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.